Hello everyone, praise good here, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. Last time, I said we were going to go into Eagle's Tower, and I've lied to you since then. We actually have a couple collectibles we need to go get before we go into Eagle's Tower itself. Basically, there are two hard pieces that are available that I have either completely forgotten about, or completely skipped due to my lack of knowledge in the game, from not playing it for so long. So, the two hard pieces we're going to go for, I'm going to basically make my way over to those now, and I uh, will basically cut back, make a quick cut to when we're in the rough area where it is. So, I'll be right back with you. First hard piece is actually over here in Animal Village. I never went here, I went here once actually already, but I didn't finish the job because I forgot about something kind of important that I needed to do. But now with the rooster, we can, we can actually, well, we could have done this a lot earlier, but I figured keeping the rooster with me is probably the best time to do this. So because you can pick them up and, hold, and hover over, but what you're supposed to do is either, I'll show you the actual way in just a second here, after I collect the piece of heart, of course. Two pieces of heart to go. Alright, you can't go over stairs for whatever reason. Silly bird. Anyway, you can do this one of two ways. You can either shoot a bomb arrow at that cracked rock over there. It will blow up the rock, allowing you to hook shot over. Or, I'm going to get to the rough place just to show you this. I can't hit him from here. Hold on. Flying! Or, you can blow up this wall. It, this this is actually kind of a secret that like unless you're actively searching you won't find it but you can blow up this wall and you can just throw a bomb from here down there and then hook shot from at that point so it's not required for you to have bomb arrows it's just that it's a it's a lot simpler trip if you have bomb arrows anyway back outside and I'm gonna go to the next place where the next heart piece is so I'll be ba back once again and the other one is right over here. Roughly here, actually. I'm, I'm a few screens shy of it, but I actually failed to go to the correct direction first time I was here. Now, again, now <clears throat> you, again, I should say you don't need the rooster at this point, but it is probably of your in your best interest to keep him around just in case you have to clear any ga large gaps that you're not confident with. And I should recommend that this is probably about the best time to go get these last, these last pieces of heart I'm showing here. Simply because, <clears throat> excuse me, simply because if you don't do it now, if you don't do it now, it would be awkward at, at best to get them later on. Anyway, the piece of, the well, to get to the piece of heart we're looking for is not there. Somewhere around here. Basically, it's the piece of heart that always used to give me trouble. Rooster, thank you. Now, making my way back up the mountain is going to be fun because I basically think I have to do the whole thing over again, but... Come out here. Oh, wait, is this... I think this is the way to Turtle Rock. Hold on. Ah, I would like to actually s speed things up just to make sure, uh, confirm my suspicions. Yeah, I think this might actually be the way to Turtle Rock. Yeah, actually, pretty sure it is. The way to a rock, okay. Uh, let me try that again, because I, apparently I'm, I've am i missed the mark entirely for it, so... Cutting away once again, as soon as I get through a door that allows for an easy cutoff point. Okay, actually, I was right and wrong at the same time. Bad. It's this wall right here that we need to go through. Oh, I'm a tart sometimes. I am definitely not a whole day in the membrane at day, at, on certain days. Anyway, here's that piece of heart from way earlier. And now we don't have to worry about a single... P now we don't have to worry about any more heart pieces until we get to the very end... Well, until we get to the 8th dungeon, I should say. So, how about I go ahead and meet you back over at... Over by Eagle Tower, with a place where I wanted to start off today's episode. Woo! Okay, there we go. I only took an Aeon to get here. But here we are, at Eagle's Tower, ready to start the dungeon like we should have been. 
Level 7, Eagle's Tower. Now, this is probably one of the more confusing dungeons when you're first playing through the game. Second time around, or any time after that, not so much. Just because of things you can do and pull off and all that stuff. Because you now have a little more knowledge of the game. Also, I should probably get my Rock's Feather out because I no longer have a bird to fly for me. But this game, but what happens now is the game will ab fully abuse the fact... Why am I still using my sword? Boomerang is stronger. Anyway, this game will now fully abuse the fact that you... Come here. Will fully abuse the fact that you know what you're doing. And knows that you know everything you should do. Now, what I would like to do... Um, let's see if I can get in the right spot. Failed it. What what the game would like you to do is to well, is once you go up. God damn it! I'm like I'm like really slow on doing it. Whatever. The game wants you to go up this way and pick stuff up and throw it around, which you should do. Uh, first thing to do is to grab the ball and throw the ball over. Try again. Throw the ball. You know what? Just have the ball rest there. Because the ball is going to become a very, very important thing in this dungeon. So you pick it up really quick and walk through. I didn't make it this time. Come on, let me toss it through. Ah. Oh, or I could throw it backwards. That works too. Because apparently I'm really good at breaking the game, but I'm trying to just be come to terms with the game. Anyway, we just pick up this ball and take it to these various stone towers you see here. Throw ball at tower. Oh, it fell down. The ball fell down the hole. Hopefully it respawns back there in that room. I should go check it out right now, but I am in the middle of this. Why am I even trying to do this? I don't think I get anything from doing this. Or I can get the map. That, that's what I get. Okay. But anyway, we need to kind of work our... Weasel our way around these rooms and find... Excuse me. Find us a place to jump across or a button to hit. A, a way to switch the... Switch polarities, if you will. Let's see. Let's see if I can try that again. Let's see. Stand here. Throw it behind me. Hey, look at that. I done do to did it. All right, and book it. Anyway, this ball, we're going to need it in various places, so throw it. Throw it around the room to places where you know you can get at it. Because we're going to take it everywhere with us. As soon as I figure out how I can get across myself. Uh, where was a switch I could hit? Oh, and also I should also of note, the ball will stay in place. Okay, you know what? I don't know how to do it normally. There we go. I don't know how to do it normally, so I'm gonna cheat and get the l and get the mirror shield or level two shield. It has uses for the boss fight, but nothing much beyond that, unfortunately. And I can't break the pot. Well, it's okay. I can work around that. Boop. Anyway, this dungeon this dungeon's gonna abuse the fact that you can walk on top of these. Uh, what do you want to call them? These switches. So now that I've hit that. Let's see. Oh, these guys. I'm going to need my sword for this. These guys are back. Okay, so it comes after the spade. There we go. And leave that chest there for a future endeavor. Oh, you're here. Well, I'm just going to make this a walk in the park. And a walk in the park was had. <laughs> anyway... What was a mid-boss is now just simply fuel fu fuel to drop down a key for us. Let's see, now we need to get across there. At least I'm pretty sure we need to get across here. Oh, let's get out that level 2 shield, take a look at it, because it's nice and big and pretty. Even though you can't see it from here, just trust me on this. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Not THE doctor, but I'm a doctor.
And that's that trivial bit of work done. And I left the ball in another room, didn't I? Well, at least I can get to it from here. That's probably going to respawn uh, when I run away, isn't it? Yep. Anyway. Let's see. Get us this level 2 bracelet. Now, I don't think... We can't jump while holding this. That's good. That means they had the forethought to think about that. Anyway, throw it against the wall. And I think... What's down here? A uh, place we do not want to take the ball, I think. In fact, I think we want to push up there. Actually, maybe we do want to put the ball down there, now that I think about it. Because if we throw the ball down here, we can come back to it. And do stuff with it. And things. Oh god. Yeah, I need to jump. <laughs> it's too many items. I need an inventory management system for my Zelda game. Stat. Uh, no, okay, now I'm actually going down a floor. Great. Nope, 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 nope. Not playing with all you guys. I'm just going to keep going forward. Oh, there's another switch here. I might be trying to do the dungeon the fast way. Anyway, hi Kirby. It's literally Kirby, so don't try and tell me otherwise. And where does this put us? Okay, in the horse head room. Pretty much roughly where I fell down. Dun, 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 dun. Oh god, go back in there. I almost got myself locked out of that room. Simply because I did not hit the switch. Oh, still didn't hit the switch. Try again. Try again, me. Eventually you'll get it proper done right. Done right. You know, I don't know why I don't just curve it, curve the bullet back there when I'm jumping. I really don't know. Anyway, I have really hope that my lack of explanation hasn't caused you to go astray in your adventures so far. There we go. Hit it again. And let's... Oh, I guess now I could actually come up here with the key. And just walk around the rooms this way. Huh. Never thought of that. Anyway. No. Stop doing what you do. Give me this... Give me the ball. The ball is now angry. What? I have to redo this puzzle? There we go. It helps when you have rhythm, because that makes that part stupid kinds of easy. So don't fall, otherwise that puzzle resets. And let's see, now I have to remember... Oh god, I have to do this already? You know what? I don't like to I don't like to do this because it kind of breaks the game a little bit, but please finish. Done. That probably sounded nice on your end. Oh, I needed to bring the ball with me. Well the ball's a room oh, the ball's a room below me. Or a couple rooms below me. Why didn't I blow this up earlier? I'm smart. Cause literally we're gonna throw the ball up there, hit that. And then I'm going to have to run it around anyway and bring it back over with me. Watch what I'm doing ahead of time. You've got a bomb! Way to go! Not condescending in the slightest. Anyway. Grab ball. Throw ball. Normally that's supposed to be the second to last pillar you hit in this temple, but... Temple. Tower. Whatever. Now if you couldn't tell already, what we're doing is we're knocking out the support structures to this building. Oh, we landed at the start. Well, what are the things doing? I'm locked out of that area. Grand. Huh. Well, until the tower falls, I'm not going to cut this video up at all. At least not any more than I already have. I've already gone full-on Surgeon Simulator on it. Anyway. Forward. And we get to try and do this again. Which for me is a lot harder than it looks because I have to have a controller pointing at a perfect 45 degree angle in order to get diagonal movement. Yeah, and I'm really gun shy and throwing the boomerang because yeah, because I don't know what the proper way is. That and when I do get it, I go really slow. Yeah. There we go. I got it. Again, that's not the proper, the right way to do it, but that's the way I'm doing it because I can. 
that's about the best explanation you're going to get for me, is I can. Anyway, if, if it stayed, yes it did. Stay. Put. Don't touch me. I have the ball. The ball is angry. Oh, wait. How do I get it? What? Oh, I have to run it all the way back around, don't I? Yeah. So much messing around. Ow. Can I just take the ball with me up there? Well, ball, go up there. I'll get. I'll play with you more in a second. Hurts slightly. And now I gotta remember what I gotta do to get everything going everywhere. Ah, and I fell. Grand. Because of a stupid enemy, I fell. Well, now we can actually explore this area, and I can show you how to get the, uh... I can show you how to get the um, treasure chest. I think I can get it at this point. That, or I've blocked it off. Stone beak. Okay, get my boomerang back, because there's more baddies to fight along here. This is a really big dungeon, and I apologize if, I'm, if I've already lost my commentary. Oh, yeah. Um, up there on that ledge there, up there on that ledge there, that's where another secret seashell is. You, pre you pretty much just have to fall down onto that ledge. Do, 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 do. Now, how do I get back upstairs and back to my ball? Probably just over this way. Maybe I'll switch the button. Maybe I'll switch the polarity around. Maybe that will help me a bit. Oh, and the treasure chest to the right, I think that is just 50 rupees, if memory serves. Not 100% on that. Uh, no, no, no. Give me ball. Okay, me and ball are going to go places. Like, here. Whatever, I can come back for it. Now I just have to go all the way back around once again. Would it be easy for me to just get to this staircase and loop back around? Kind of. Yeah, I can... Oh, no, wait. That's not a staircase that gets me there. It's a staircase that... Uh, my Brian hurts. Okay, I know. I kind of know what I have to do. I have to walk all the way backwards again. But we're almost there. You get an extended cut episode today because I have poor planning... Nope, I don't want that. Uh, let's see, and now we get to try this once more. There we go. When the timing is right, you do it. So then if I come around here, what sh I should be able to do is go up to that room over there. Da -da 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 -da. I need a little more health. What I should be able to do is come up here, jump across, equip myself with mine shield, hold it out, hold space, fall down the floor, because why not? Ugh. That means I, you know, I'm going to cut now until I get back up to where we need to be. Okay, and there we go. One pile of frustration later, we got to here. Now, there's multiple ways we can do this puzzle, but but I kind of did it the backwards way. Anyway, throw this up here. We destroy the last of the of the supporting pillars and knock the tower down one floor. Basically, floor three and four, four floor three and floor four are becoming one, and we've been on floor two this whole time. I'm not even going to talk to these guys because they'd probably just give me the compass. I need to go up floors, not down floors. Wow, I'm really just getting that salty right now. God darn, I just want to go up. One day I will. One day I will soul to the skies. Some, one day I will stop getting hurt by things that are easy to dodge. Do this once more. Dang it. Come on, let me hit it. Now I'm trying to do it too fast. Okay, let's try it like this. Okay, I almost had it. 
Uh, this is why you configure dead zones properly on your controller, kids. Because now I have to sit here and do this for a while. There we go. Now we can go up a floor. Jesus. But actually, I will save going up, or up a floor until next time. So everybody, I do want to thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Link's Awakening. And I hope that you'll join me next time when I go further into this dungeon. I shall see you then.